Hi everyone! This is the first topic of the subject Consumer Behavior entitled Buying, Having, and Being an Introduction to Consumer Behavior. Once again, I am your instructor, Professor Angeline D. Illumin. And these are the learning outcomes. Identify the wants and needs of different consumer segments. Relate consumer choices in powerful ways. Describe how technology and culture create a new always on consumer. Explain the perspectives regarding how and what we should understand about consumer behavior. Let us have a short story. This is Gail, and this is her friend Wendy. But Wendy has nothing to do with the story, so let us focus on Gail. Gail has some time to kill before her accounting class. So she pulls out her trusty iPhone to see what's going on in her social networks. Between studying for her accounting and marketing exams, she hasn't checked out anything interesting in days. Even her Facebook friends around campus has, have been quiet. Enough of the serious stuff, she, de she decides. It's time for some really educational surfing. So, where to go first? Gail goes straight to Pinterest to see if anyone has pinned up any new styles on her shoeaholic board. Yes, definitely some new stuff to post for her sorority sisters. She flicks over to her campus, a collegiate's guide to life to get the latest 411 on the Bachelor TV show. She's just about to jump to Gen Y girl when she gets a text from jewelmint.com to notify her that the site has a jewelry option for her that's based on the profile she filled out when she registered. Sweet! It's a bracelet the actress Alison Williams from Girls Recommends. With her PayPal account, doesn't take Gail long to throw the bracelet in the digital card and order it and to share a, a photo of her home on Facebook. Just on a whim, Gail opens the Tinder app on her phone. Yes, as usual, plenty of guys want to meet up if, we, if she swipes right. Not happening with these dreams, a flurry of left swipes and she's done. As Gail glances at the clock, she realizes she'd better come back to the real world or she'll miss her exam. Okay, enough time for one quick pose before she runs to touch the campus shuttle. Gail logs on to ratemyprofessor.com and writes a quick but glowing paragraph about how her great consumer behavior professor has been this semester. Not to mention that awesome text there, Yuzi. Okay, so that's the end of the story of Gail. Uh, we are uh, now on the consumer behavior people in the marketplace. We're going to use Gail as a perfect uh, example of uh, the topic. This course is uh, all about Gail and you and me. It concerns the products and services we buy and use and the ways this fit into our lives. Okay, so this uh, introductory chapter describes some important aspects of the field of consumer behavior and some reasons why it's essential to understand how people interact with the marketing system. For now, let's return to our one typical consumer, Gail, the Miss Des Major. So Gail is a consumer. Let's uh, compare her to other consumers. For some purposes, uh, marketers find it useful to categorize her in terms of her age, gender, income, or occupation. 
these are descriptive characteristics of a population or what we call the demographics. In other cases, marketers uh, would rather know something about Gail's interest in clothing or music or the way she spends her leisure time. Knowledge of consumer characteristics plays an extremely important role in many marketing applications, such as when a manufacturer defines the market for a product or an advertising agency decides on the appropriate techniques to employ when it targets a certain group of consumers. Also, Gail's sorority sisters strongly influence her purchase decisions. The conversations we have with others transmit a lot of product information as well as recommendations to use or avoid a particular brand. This content often is more influential than what we see on television commercials, magazines, or billboards. So do you agree with that class, right? We listen to the opinions of others at sometimes rather than uh, research you know, on uh, the different uh, platforms or websites because we want to make it shorter. Then the growth of the web has created thousands of online consumption communities where members share opinions and recommendations about anything and uh, one example of that is uh, Facebook. Uh, they have a different page uh, where uh, buyers and sellers interact and share their op opinions on a specific product. Then, Gail forms bonds with fellow group members because they use the same products. There is also pressure on each group member to buy things that will meet with the group's approval. A consumer may pay a steep price in the form of rejection or embarrassment when he or she doesn't conform to others' conceptions of what is good or bad, in or out. Then every day, Gail comes into contact with information about many competing brands. Some don't capture her attention at all, whereas others are just a turn off just because they don't relate to looks people or ideas with which she identifies herself. Okay. So that's where uh, the use of market segmentation comes in. The use of market segmentation strategies means an organization targets its products, service, or idea only to a specific group of consumers rather than to everybody so you have already studied that in your principles of marketing even if it means that other consumers who don't belong to this target market are not attracted to it they are creating different uh, variety of products okay, uh, uh, for their target market or one example on this one is they make chocolate and vanilla ice cream and even candied bacon flavor. Yeah. And brands uh, often have clearly defined images or personalities that the advertising, packaging, and branding and other marketing elements help to shape uh, people like us or consumers like us often purchase a product because they like its image or because they feel its personality somehow corresponds to their own. Diba? Ganyan tayo at times when we buy a certain product, uh, we feel na it is for us, it fits our personality or our uh, lifestyle. Moreover, and a consumer may believe that if he or she buys and uses the product or service, its desirable qualities will magically rub off, rub off onto him or her. When a product or service satisfies our specific needs or desires, 
dyan na papasok yung yan, years of brand loyalty. So, ito yung pinaka-importanting bond between a product and a consumer that uh, competitors uh, cannot break. Competitors cannot break that bond between a uh, loyal consumer to a specific brand. So, example here, consumers form strong loyalties with their favorite brands or stores. So, may iba nga, di ba, uh, talagang sa ibang basa, very common din yung nagka-camp out sila pag merong bago nila launch na product. You know, parang like pa yung uh, pumipila sa, ano, sa concert, no, pag may bagong product. Dito sa atin, di ba, nung may, uh, nung bago-bago pa lang yung, yung J ko, <laughs> di ba, talagang pinipilahan. No, dito sa atin, ganun din. Pag may bagong product, at pag dito naman inintroduce yung product na yun, talagang pinipilahan ng mga consumer. As in, nagtsatsaga talaga silang pumila ng mahaba. Okay. And uh, the appearance, taste, texture, or smell of the item influences our evaluations of the products. Uh, yung mga website ngayon, no, uh, dyan na, no, uh, they help people uh, to feel, taste, and smell with only even only with their own eyes kasi saan tayo nadadala nadadala tayo doon sa packaging sa shape sa color ng product even sa sa store shelf yun yung mga ano no doon tayo at times nadadala kaya natin uh, binibili yung isang product as well as by more subtle factors such as the symbolism in a brand name in an advertisement or even the choice of cover model for a magazine o kung fan, na fan tayo ng Blackpink or ng Katniel okay so dyan yan din nakakapag influence sa atin uh, at nakaka help na, ng parang nakikita natin yung product yung kanya texture yung taste just by looking at it And these just judgments are affected by and often reflect how society feels people should define themselves at that point in time. Many product meanings lurk below the surface of packaging and advertising. Okay, so katulad ni Gail, no, we shape our opinions and desires based sa different opinions or voices na naka-surround sa atin. Okay, uh, ang mundo natin ngayon, palit na palit when it comes to uh, purchasing of products. Diba? And also, uh, this is who we are eh, as consumers today. So, right now, we can uh, now experience different products of different cultures through the advancement of technology. So, it's easier now to uh, to transport products from different countries uh, wherein we can taste those products or experience those products because of the advancement of technology and dahil mas napabilis na nga rin yung pagkadating no? ngayon yung product galing ng halimbawa ay China, ilang araw lang one week lang ay nasa sa atin na no? even with another country no? ma ma mabilis and also, yung culture nila, we were able to to experience uh, their products like Korean. Yan, very common ngayon yan. Korean, Korean products, no? even yung the way they, uh, they eat no? in Korea. Uh, samgyuk, no? mga samgyuk, uh, samgyuk sal. So ngayon, nagagawa na rin natin at, uh, just because of, with the help also of the technology. No? So, ngayon, natitiknat na experience na natin yung culture no? na iba't ibang uh, uh, na iba't ibang bansa. Ayan, uh, especially uh, yung Korean. No? Ikaw nila pati yung kanila music, kina-adapt na natin. Yung hairstyle, madamit, make, even makeup, no? mga beauty products nila, pagkain. So, lahat yan, ina-adapt na natin ngayon. So, what is consumer behavior? So, consumer behavior, it is a process. 
Actually, it is a process. Hindi lang siya yung once you 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 purchase a product, then that's it. Then you purchase, you use the product, and dispose. That's it. No, so it is a process. It is a process involved when individuals or groups select, purchase, use, or dispose of products, services, even ideas or experiences to satisfy to satisfy their needs and desires. It's it is a process. So consumers may take uh, take many forms, ranging from an eight-year-old child. Who begs her mother for a frozen Elsa doll? So, an example, a picture Jan. To an executive in a large corporation who helps to design on a multi million dollar computer system. So, lahat, lahat, lahat na nag purchase, lahat ng nanghi, nag sa magulang nila ay, lahat ay consumer. The items we consume, marami, iba't iba. Uh, can uh, can be a canned piece to a massage, democracy, jeans, juicy jeans, reggae music, or even a celebrity. So the needs and desires that can satisfy a rich from hunger and thirst to love, status, and even spiritual fulfillment. And uh, also, Yan, um, people get passionate also about a broad range of products so nakaka-relate kayo dyan lahat tayo uh, whether it's vintage Air Jordans perfect yoga mat or the latest computer tablet so there's no shortage of brand fans no? we do whatever it takes para lang makapag, makabili makahanap at makasatisfy ng uh, craving Consumer behavior is a process. Uh, in its early stages of development, you, researchers uh, researchers refer to the field as the buyer behavior. It is reflected the emphasis at the time between the 1960s and 1970s on the interaction between consumers and producers and at the time of purchase. So most marketers now recognize that consumer behavior is in fact an un ongoing process. Not merely what happens the moment that the consumer hands over the money or a credit card and in turn receives some good or service. A. Ang unang ano, process, exchange. A. Exchange. This is uh, an exchange that no? we discussed in the so principles of marketing. Okay? Exchange is a transaction in which two or more organizations or people give and receive something of value. Okay? It is an integral part of marketing. Although exchange theory remains an important part of consumer behavior, the expanded view emphasizes the entire consumption process. Which includes the issues that influence the consumer before, before, during, and after purchase. So, ito yung hand. Okay. Figure 1.1. Consumer. Kayo. Ako, ikaw, tayo lahat ay consumer. Tayo yung nag-identify na ating need or desire. Uh, tayo yung nag-purchase, nag-dispose ng product during the three stages of the consumption process. Although, um, there are times na uh, iba't ibang tao ang pwedeng mag-play ng role in these events. Uh, for example, yung purchaser ng product na yun, hindi siya yung, hindi siya yung gagamit. Halimbawa, yung magulang na mimili ng damit para sa kanyang anak na teenager. Or yun, kahit hindi damit, kahit pagkain. And yung siyempre, yung pagpili ng magulang na yun, is naka-base pa rin kung ano yung uh, preferences ng kanyang anak. No? So, dapat masatisfy pa rin kahit siya yung uh, ibang tao yung bibili. Diba ikaw, pag nagpabili ka ng isang bagay, kailangan kung ano yung inutos mo, pinakasuyo mo, yun yung bibili. Dahil kung hindi, ayun, mafrustrate ka kasi hindi nabili kung ano yung gusto mo. Kung ano yung naka yung base sa iyong preference. And, ayan, other people or another per person may also act as an influencer. 
Asian, ayan, mga YouTuber o, na nagre-recommend ng products or mga, mga nag-tiktoker, mga na, very popular sa Facebook. No? Sila'y nagre-recommend certain products okay, uh, without actually buying or using them. No, yung ganyan. Halimbawa, uh, malaki ang influence ngayon no? ng mga, uh, mga YouTuber, ng mga sikat na ano ngayon, no? uh, personality sa mga social media platforms. Halimbawa, uh, may example dito, a friend's dream is when uh, you try on that new pair of pants, maybe more influential than anything your mother might see. So, mas nagiging nakikinig tayo sa kanila uh, sa kung ano yung in, kung sino yung nagsabi, kung sino yung gusto natin pakinggan, rather than sa uh, sinasabi ni ating parents. Also, finally, consumers may take the form of org, organizations, or groups, okay, and, and where uh, one or several persons may select products that many will use. As when a purchasing agent orders a company's office supplies, and basta it is mas malakihan. If, okay, alimbawa, uh, yung mga uh, sa isang company, ang bumibili, ang nag-decide, ay yung accountants, designers, engineers, sales personnel, and other okay, all of whom we have a say in the various stages of the consumption process. So, this is the uh, stage, uh, this is a diagram uh, for stages in the consumption process. So, ito yung uh, consumer's perspective and ito naman yung marketer's perspective. Ayan, naapag-aralan yun na yan before the pre-purchase, purchase, and post-purchase. So, consumer perspective, so during pre-purchase, how does a consumer decide that he or she needs a product? Ano kaya yung best sources of information to learn about alternative choices? On the other hand, sa marketer naman, sa kanya is how are consumer attitudes toward products formed and changed? What cues do consumers use to infer which products are superior to others? During purchase naman, sa consumer, is acquiring a product a stressful or a pleasant experience? What does the purchase say about the consumer? Sa marketer naman, how do situational factors such as time, pressure, or store displays affect consumers' purchase decision? Sa consumer, sa post-purchase, does the product provide pleasure or perform its intended function? So, ang ano na, so, and sa consumer is, paano nila i-dispose yung product? So, what are the environmental consequences? While sa marketer naman, what determines whether a consumer will be satisfied with the product or whether he or she will buy it again? Okay, so, sasabihin pa ng tao na to, sa iba, sa iba sa kanyang peers no uh, yung experience niya no, sa product at makakapag-influence ba yun ng no, uh, purchase decision ng taong shishirayan niya no kanyang naging experience about the product consumers impact on marketing strategy okay so uh, bakit, no? So, bakit ang mga managers, mga marketers, advertisers, bakit uh, we bother to learn about consumer behavior? Siyempre, negosyo yan. Okay? So, remember, uh, ano yung pinag-aralan natin during principles of marketing? No? Bakit, uh, bakit, uh, tayo dito, bakit natin sila inaalokan ng product? Okay? Kasi para masatisfy ang needs nila. But, marketers can satisfy these needs only to the extent that they understand the people or organization that will use the products and services they sell. And, dyan papasok ang pag-aaral ng consumer behavior. Okay, so consumers are different. How do we divide them up? So, napag-aaralan na rin natin yan, no? Uh, in our principles of marketing subject. 
sabi dito, uh, building loyalty to a brand is a smart marketing strategy. Okay, so some companies define market segments when they identify their yeah, most faithful customers or sila yung mga heavy users. So, naka, meron silang rule of thumb. Ginagamit nila yung 80-20 rule. So, ibig sabihin nun, 20% of users account for 80% of sales. So, yan. Kung sino yung pinaka ano no, loyal na customers natin kahit konti na sila. Pero, sila yung tutukan mo kasi sila yung nagbibigay ng malaking sales sa kumpanya mo. Okay? So, parang ano lang yan. Parang sa mga uh, ano na in-check. Prinsipyo ng mga in-check. Na mababa ang presyo pero dami benta. O mataas ang uh, presyo pero walang kita. Okay? Parang ganun lang yan. So, itong mga loyal customers na to, ito yung ating inaalagaan, uh, tinututukan natin. No? Mas maganda na magkaroon tayo ng uh, konting customers lang, mga kahit sampung loyal customers other than mag-invite ka ng, mag -invite ng uh, potential customers lang pero uh, hindi naman sila nagbibigay ng um, contribution sa sales. So, mas maganda ang ligaan mo yung konting loyal customers na yun kasi nga sila yung nagbibigay ng malaking benta sa business mo. So, it says here there's a study that 54 million shoppers supported that only 2.5% of consumers account for 80% of sales for the average package goods brand. The 1% of pet owners who buy 80% of lamb's pet food spend $93 a year on the brand. So, kung isa ka sa mga loyal consumer, nung tinatakidik mo, pinapatronize yung product, napaka-bless sa'yo ng kumpanya, lalo na kung madalas kang bumili ng product nila kasi kahit nag-iisa ka lang, ang laki na kinocontribute mo sa kanilang benta. And, the 1.2% of beer drinkers who account for 80% of Budweiser sales spend $170 on Bud each year. Of the 1,364 brands the researchers studied, only 25 had a consumer base of more than 10% that accounted for 80% of the volume. Okay, so just think of the 80-20 rule as a guideline rather than setting stone. Yeah, mag-set ka na mag-set, magpalaki ka na magpalaki ng uh, customer base mo, pero hindi ka naman kumikita. Aside from heavy usage of product, we use many other dimensions to divide up a large market. So, dahil pinag-aralan na natin yan kung paano natin sila hahatiin, di ba? So, market segmentation. As we've already seen, demographics are statistics that measure observable aspects of a population such as birth rate, age distribution, and income. Okay, first is age. Uh, consumers of uh, no, different age groups obviously have different needs and wants. Although, uh, people who belong to the same age group differ in many other ways. Uh, so, they do uh, tend to share a set of values and common cultural experiences that they carry throughout life. So, in some cases naman, no, marketers, uh, they initially uh, develop a product to attract one age group and then, later on, try to broaden its appeal. So, halimbawa, yung Red Bull. So, ayun yung ginawa ng uh, marketing ng Red Bull. The company uh, aggressively introduced it in bars, nightclubs, and jeans to the product's core audience of young people. And then, over time, no, it became popular in other contexts. And the company began to sponsor the... Uh, PGA uh, European Tour to broaden its reach to older golfers. No? Ito yung mga hindi naman nagpa-party all night, pero ni-reach out pa rin ng uh, Red Bull. And, and also, nag-extend din sila sa ano, no? nagbigay sila ng mga free samples to commuters, mga cab driver, mga car rental agencies, para i-promote yung kanilang drink as a way para mag-stay alert on the road. 
so, uh, hindi na hindi na siya pang kumbaga eh pang mga party party lang kundi pang ano rin siya pang while, while you are working if you want to stay alert yan and then gender gender uh, we start to uh, make gender distinctions at an early age so ngayon even diapers no uh, may mga diaper na merong pink for girls and blue for vo- for boys so meron din mga pabango the footwear that uh, target either men or women so uh, in the popular sandals and athletic uh, apparel brand Oakley no, they now uh, make a concerted effort to boost the paltry 10% of its revenue from women's products okay so yung mga dating nag uh, target na nila is for male ngayon nag-extend na rin sila sa uh, sa female Ayan, pabango, dati ang uh, mga shoes ng Nikes. Pag sinabi mo Nike, pang lalaki lang ngayon, may mga shoes, apparel na rin, and bags for uh, women. Or kung hindi naman, eh, unisex. Then, family structure, ayan, no, yung uh, person's family and marital status is yet another important uh, demographic variable. Uh, because it's uh, also has a huge effect, no, on consumer spending priorities. So, example, yung mga young bachelors and newlyweds uh, are most likely to exercise, go to bars, concerts, and movies. And, yun nga, yung iba sa kanila, they parang uh, living uh, their lives to the fullest so, wherein they do whatever they want. Like, halimbawa, consume alcohol, no, while ano naman, no, yung mga families na mayroon ng mga young children, they are big purchasers naman of healthy foods and fruit juice. Yung mga single parent naman, ang madalas nilang ano, no, uh, consume. Yung single parent na may medyo na malalaki na yung kanila mga anak for on drug food naman. Mga older couples naman and bachelors, ay naman, uh, medyo may edad na, no, they uh, most likely to use home maintenance services. Ay mga nahihilig na sa ngayon, no? Uh, marami ngayon nahihilig sa paghalaman, ano? Uh, ayan, yung mga, even mga bachelors, ano? Kahit mga lalaki ay naga, naghahalaman, ano? Marami, no? Marami, marami na ngayon na iba't iba kasi ng mga trendy, ika nga. Then, social class and income. Uh, people who belong naman to the same social class are approximately equal in terms of income and social standing. Okay, itong mga to is they work in roughly similar occupations and in taste nila, pareho pagdating sa music, clothing, leisure activities, and art. So, they also tend to uh, socialize with one another. You know, for example, yung mga nasa uh, upper class, no? So, pare-pareha sila ng uh, likes, no? Uh, mga dislikes, no? usually, na nasa upper class, uh, so, parang, usually, ang mga, ano nila is, mga arts, no? Yung mga gusto-gusto nila, eh. Yung mga hobbies, no? So, magkakabarehas din sila pagdating sa mga ganun. Then, uh, they also share many ideas and values regarding the way they should live. So, itong, itong distribution of wealth na to is also interest to, ano, no, to marketers kasi nga uh, nadedetermine nila kung sino yung grupo na may greatest uh, buying power and market potential. Then, race and ethnicity. So, yan, yung African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans are the three fastest growing ethnic groups in the United States. So, our society now are, uh, is becoming uh, multicultural. No, new opportunities to develop and, uh, and deliver specialized products to racial and ethnic groups. So, in-extend natin yung mga product natin uh, as so a different uh, ethnicity. For example, yung McDonald's. No, so, yung McDonald's, uh, they regard ethnic consumers as trendsetters. No, so, uh, the restaurant chain often assess the reaction to the new menu items or advertisement bago nila i-roll out to 
pa-Caucasian market. For example, yung kanilang smoothies, no? uh, yung mga fruit combinations nila, yung mga shakes, uh, they are uh, based on preferences the company's research researches discovered in ethnic communities. Okay, so when in geography naman, yeah, no, uh, national marketers often tailor their offerings to appeal to consumers who live in different parts of the country. And then, as for the lifestyle naman, uh, of course, we consumers, we have different lifestyle. No, even if we share the same demographic characteristics. No, so, it's the way we feel about ourselves, the way we value things, no, uh, the way uh, or the things that we do in our spare time. So, all, all of these no, uh, are factors that help uh, marketers determine which products will push our buttons. No? Or even uh, those uh, that make us feel better. And then, segmenting my behavior, rela uh, relationships, and big data. So, dyan naman po kapasok yung uh, relationship marketing and database marketing. So, mar uh, marketers, no, they carefully define customer segments and listen to people in their markets as never before. Okay, many of them uh, now realize no, that the key to success is building relationships between brands and customers that will last a lifetime. Uh, marketers who subscribe to that philosophy are uh, of relationship marketing, they usually interact with their customers on a regular basis. Okay, so bakit, uh, bakit, bakit kailangan, bakit ka mag stay sa company namin, no? Bakit kailangan mo, uh, we have to uh, maintain our bond, no? Uh, between that, that customer and uh, the brand or the company. Then, uh, database uh, marketing naman, no? it tracks specific consumers buying habits. So, minomonitor nila. Uh, for, uh, for example, yung Walmart, Walmart stores, massive amounts of information on the 100 million people who visit its stores each week. Kasi ang using database marketing yun nga, no? is to track specific consumers buying habits closely and crafts products and messages tailored precisely to the people's needs and wants. So, another example sa atin is yung, ano eh, yung, yung SM department store or yung SM, they have the advantage card, di ba? So, yung advantage card, yun yung pinakalagsisilbi nilang record, kung ano yung buying uh, patterns mo, ay kaya nga may, meron kang yeah, email where in they send yung mga bago nilang trends, no? So, yun yung nagiging uh, database nila. No? Yung, yung ating mga ano, loyalty cards. No? Kahit sa ibang, ano, no? sa ibang uh, businesses. No? Yung mga loyalty cards na yan, yun yung ginagamit nila as uh, basis and information para ma-monitor ma nila yung kanilang mga uh, consumers. Yung uh, buying habits, patterns, kung ano yung madalas pinin, kung magkano yung binibili pag uh, ano siya shopping so yun yung mga nag uh, parang serves also as their data uh, minsan nakaka-receive tayo ng email ano, sa galing galing halimbawa from SM ano kung ano yung value sa kanila basically kung ano yung madalas mo rin binibili okay so that's it and for your activity 1 please refer to the following Okay, uh, I want you to work with your group mates and complete the following that is to be presented on uh, May 8. Okay, so May 8. So, yan, basahin nyo na lang. And this is also the case study. In case study, meron siyang tatlong questions. Okay, so I'll see you on your presentation.